architecture. Just just talk to us about. Sure, his... It was at that time one of the biggest cathedral and one of the finest with very thin structures, the walls and huge windows like these great roses as a transept. So it's a model for many, many buildings in uh, all over Europe in the Middle Ages and even outside Europe in modern times. It, it was, uh, uh, by the way, the second generation of Gothic buildings after Saint-Denis, for example, or Saint-Germain-des-Prés in Paris. But the structure of Notre Dame is much higher. One of the things that we, we know has almost certainly been lost is what they call the, the charpente, the, the framework, the wooden framework inside, mm -hmm. um, a lot of which is, is 13th century original wood um, right there. They called it the, the forest. It was 52 acres of, of oak. Um, this is the kind of thing that wars were fought over in the 12th century. The size of these trees, we don't have that many trees of that size in the world anymore. You don't really get a devotional work at the heart of the French nation, and which exists mm. sort of untouched like that. It's something which is part of the daily life, and so it's been added to, it's been refurbished, it's been worked at and changed and altered in all these many ways, and um, right throughout its lifetime. <laughs> 